Hi first graders, it's Mrs. Gady on a Friday morning and I heard from Mrs. Taylor that she's having a pajama day and that was perfect because I am still in mine and I've got on my bear slippers and my Baywood bear hat because it's Friday, wear your spirit layer day. Okay, let's talk about time. When I was together with you last for Number Corner, I had flipped over Monday's card, the 23rd, and it looked like this. And we had talked about how this time read 2.30 on our analog clock. Let me show you the same time on our bigger clock. Hold on. All right. Here it is, a little easier to see because it's on a bigger clock. And let's review how to tell time like this. So, you always start with the hour. That's the little hand on the clock. This one right here. And if you notice, it's in between the two and the three. Remember, when the hand is in between two numbers, the smaller number is the boss because it comes first on the clock. So, two is the smaller number. It's still in the two hour. Hmm, then we need to figure out the minutes. So, we look at our minute hand. It's the longer hand on the clock. And you can see that it's pointing down here to the six, which in minutes is 30. So this clock is showing 2.30. Hey, let's practice. So get ready. I'm gonna show you some times from the calendar and I want you to shout out what time it is at your house. And I'm gonna use some times that um, my boys have been using for their homeschool. So here comes the first one. Let me find it. All right. Here is the first time. This is the time of the day when my two kids start school. What time does it say? Look at the hour hand first and then the minute hand. Did you say 8.30? That's right, it's 8.30. And I wrote AM because 8.30 a.m. is 8.30 in the morning. That's when my boys start school. All right, let's try another one. What about this time right here? What time does it say on this clock? This is when my boys get to have a recess snack break. Hmm. Look at the hour hand first, and then the minute hand. That's right, it's 10 o'clock a.m. in the morning. They stop what they're doing on their computers, and they go have a snack and go outside for recess. How about another one? What time does this clock say, first graders? Be careful. Look for the little number, that's the boss. Did you say 10.30 a.m.? That's right, at 10.30 a.m., my boys come in from recess and they start with some schooling again. Usually they do their reading around this time. All right, one more time. How about this clock right here? What time does it say? That's right, it says 12.30, 12.30 p.m., that's the afternoon. This is when my boys get to have lunch. They'll go make themselves a frozen burrito or a sandwich or eat some sort of leftovers. All right, let me have you practice a little bit more with these times, so get ready. Here's the big clock. It says 2.30. Hmm. Watch this, watch how time passes. 
I'm going to take this minute hand and I'm going to spin it, spin it, spin it. I'm going to speed up time. Whoa, it's going so fast and I'm going to stop right here. Hmm, what time does it read on this clock? Look at your little hand first, your hour hand. It's an in-betweener, so look for the littler number. And then say the minutes. Did you get 1130? That's what time it is. All right, here goes some more time passing. Spinning that minute hand. Spinning, spinning, spinning all the way to what time is it? Oh yeah. 1.30 on the clock. One more, friends. Here it goes. Spinning, 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 spinning. All the way. All the way. Oh, that I know says 6 o'clock. So how about that time right there? What does that say? 6.30. You got it. All right, friends. Let's do a quick little catch up for the rest of the week on our calendar since we haven't seen each other at Number Corner for a while. So I'm going to have to move my phone. Bear with me so you can see. Huh. Maybe this will work. There we go. So the last time we were together, was over here on Monday and it was the 23rd and <clears throat> we have noticed that our pattern for time passing goes 30 minutes 30 minutes 60 minutes 30 minutes 30 minutes 60 minutes 30 minutes then 30 minutes so 30 minutes has to pass since 2:30. The next card should say, dun dun dun, dun three o'clock. There's a little bit of the glare there. No worries. All right, 60 minutes should pass next from three o'clock. 60 more minutes, one whole hour. We should get to four o'clock. Can you see that? It's a digital clock. It's reading four o'clock. It's um, the time on top of a Bank. That's what the picture looks like. Okay. And then 30 minutes should pass from 4 o'clock. You should get 4.30. And then for today, which is Friday, March 27th, 30 more minutes should pass and we should get all the way to ding, 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 five o'clock on the clock, putting it back. And that has caught us up with number corner for the week. Whew, thank goodness. All right, first grade friends, keep practicing with that time at home. I'll see you next time. Bye.